in their last eight. They have struggled mightily through the year, hoping this is the game to turn around. And Rudolph with his first completion. It's Pickens in stride. There he goes. The explosion. Pickens. Goodbye. Touchdown. 86 yards. This is a beautiful route by Pickens. He sets up the rookie cornerback. And then this burst. I mean, he just ran away from the Bengal defenders. George Pickens has been under fire a little bit this week, taking a lot of criticism. What a way for him to start. What a way for Mason Rudolph to start right out of the gate for the Steelers. Todd, you mentioned it for Rudolph. He had started in the past with his team, yeah. but really the only holdovers from the last time he was getting legitimate action. Browning. Holding it. Lofts it. Wide open Higgins across midfield for a big kick. Has been as big a factor as all of it. As he goes in motion, second down and six now for Browning. Feeling the pressure. Got rid of it. A wobbler. It's caught. Makes him back in there on second and four. Swing it to Tyler Boyd, the local Pittsburgh kid. Extends forward for a first down. Browning leaving the pocket on the run. Browning gets rid of it. And picked off major mistake it's the veteran patrick peterson with a takeaway one pass one touchdown 86 yards from rudolph second handoff of the day is going to go to harris pushing the pile forward that he's been biding his time waiting it's tough sometimes when you're the number three quarterback as he's two for two now robinson extends Firemuth, who had his best game of the season against Cincinnati, the motion man on third down. Rudolph lets it go, and it's a lot of space for Jalen Warren. Turns on the burners, and he's deep in. Warren and Harris both in there for this second down play. Rudolph pumps, fires, open on the sideline, another catch. Looking to put his team up two scores in this first quarter. <laughs> Handoff, Harris. Bouncing, Harris extends first step from the first quarter Cincinnati looking for another stand here on second and goal Austin the motion man they give it to him on the jet sweep Austin finds the space and the burst of speed has him there touchdown Pittsburgh these blocks right here and then watch this block by Jalen Warren Austin's got the speed but watch those three guys block on the perimeter Jalen Warren knocks his man completely on the ground third and 11 here comes Watt, got a hand on him, Browning escapes, flag is down, and Watt on the second effort, Bull comes out, and Cincinnati has it back. And Austin second, and the third drive offensively, it's Najee Harris with a big gain in the secondary, and he, and they just get it off in time. Rudolph bobbled it, had to get rid of it, bat in the air, Warren nearly dropped it, and then actually saves it from potential disaster. Bengal in history with 60 in his career. Play action pass, Brown is gonna feel it from Highsmith, just gets rid of it in time, throws a second interception. Picked off by Eric Rowe, right off the practice squad, down the sideline and out of bounds. So now it's second down and 10. Hand it, Harris up the gut, and he just- In the ball game. He says the rookie out of Clemson, Miles Murphy, third down. Rudolph escapes. Rudolph's going to tuck and run. Rudolph. Oh, he Robinson, the motion man. Harris, the handoff. Harris extends the ball. Touchdown. Fifth of the year for Najee Harris. He has really filled in, playing way more stat snaps than he was really expected to play coming into the season. And it's taken a toll on his body. Loft over the middle, and Brown, and he's got it on time, on target. Tyler Boyd escapes from the pack. Not necessarily eye-popping numbers, but so reliable now in his eighth year. Second-round pick back in 2016. Browning with plenty of time, and it's dropped in the bucket. Boyd is a proven commodity, as is Higgins. Browning, a rifle over the middle, drew sample in space. And Watt's gonna have to just stick it further. We're gonna get the ball to start this second half. Some points, massive here for Cincinnati. Another completion for Irwin as he wiggles his We've seen Tanner Hudson emerge as a go-to target for Browning. Will they run it here with Mixon? They will. On the ground, Mixon into the pile, and it'll depend on the spot, right? Browning to throw. Browning floats it, end zone, incomplete! He was looking for Higgins, and it's Porter again in coverage. Turnover on downs. From 
just inside their own five. Rudolph gets rid of it, swing it, Warren, and he will. And they will go to the air. Rudolph lofts it. It's caught. Deontay. At LSU in their national championship season. Rudolph to throw. Deep drop. Rudolph letting it fly down the sideline. Pickens got it. And he was out. Was he inbounds or not? They're saying. Cap working on a woozy this time. It'll depend on that right foot. Did he keep it completely the in bounds? Play is under review. If it stands, it's a 44-yard gain. Wow, that looks like a catch. That's a catch. That, that is an unbelievably acrobatic catch by Pickens. I feel comfortable with Boswell at this distance would be about a 47-48 yard field goal. Warren the motion man, third and five. Rudolph, quick strike, goes back to Pickens. It's gonna be a yard short. And the ninth year pro out of Rice curls it in. Zach Taylor knows that's irrelevant. This is a game that, regardless of the opponent, you got to have to be a playoff team. And that's a big play. T. Higgins. Wow. Extends. Higgins is gone. It's a Higgins house call. Touchdown. 80 yards. Here's Porter. But as this route comes in, he's going to turn him loose to an inside defender. And you can see the inside linebacker, Mikel Walker, number 38, got all twisted around. Again, no Alandon Roberts on the inside. To try to make this a two-score game. Browning surveys. Browning extending the play. Shovel. He's got it. Joe Mixon. Creative from Jake Browning. If Mason Rudolph can get his team back on the horse. Rudolph rolls, flips. Darnell Washington makes the grab and will turn it up. Third and one. Rudolph looking sideline for Pickens again. He's got it. Dropped it in the bucket. Pickens punches back. Touchdown. You go for a low percentage throw, but with this guy today, it's not a low percentage throw. The Rousier in coverage, beautiful throw by Rudolph. Browning back to the air over the middle, back to Higgins. Will. Tomlin told Highsmith, you better be like Michael Jordan in the last dance. Take it personally. Go one on one with that matchup. Here's a third and two for Browning. Rainbow delivery, and it's Higgins for a first down. Browning, just so poised. Flag comes in, a sample makes the catch, turns it up along the sideline, and forces. Third and ten. Browning, standing tall in the pocket over the middle of Tanner Hudson. Rudolph, play action on second down. Pocket collapses. Hendrickson gets two arms around him, and Rudolph is dumped. Essentially a must-win game for the Steelers and they put themselves in position Mason Rudolph a big reason why this one Browning in this Bengals offense from the 32 Mixon on the handoff bounce it to the outside shows off the speed. He's got a first down carry Very well for the Steelers defense so far Mike Tomlin said that the menu gets a little smaller especially without Minka Fitzpatrick out for today Browning dials it up caught Inbounds, T. Browning, feeling the pressure, he goes down. Alex Highsmith, he's too fast. And McPherson drills it. Rudolph, loft it, he likes to go deep. Oh, he just missed Johnson. They let Browning let it loose a bit. Second and 19. Deep drop for Browning. Steps up in the pocket. Fires. Dangerous. It's intercepted. Alex Highsmith takes it away. Third of the day for Browning. And the Steelers clicking on all cylinders down the stretch. And three turnovers. Season high in interceptions for Pittsburgh. A season. They're getting close to it today. They also haven't had a 300-yard passer in quite some time. Mason Rudolph's at two seconds. 
to finish off at Seattle, at Baltimore. Harris finds the hole, follows his blocking, keeps the legs. Effort, especially when he watched back the tape, felt like a, a lot of other people deserved it instead of it being the Browning revenge game. Has a nice grab by Robinson along the sideline. And Boswell knocks it through. Short, short. Third and five for Browning. Let's it fly. Wide open. Trenton Irwin over the middle of the field. And he's tripped up. Third and six. Browning feeling the pressure. Down he goes. Another sack for the Steelers. Miles Jack gets home. And it's official. Here in Pittsburgh, Rudolph saves Christmas. The Steelers salvage their season with a 34-11 victory over the Bengals. Both teams will be clawing down the stretch the final two weeks. But Pittsburgh puts an end to a three-game losing streak. Cincinnati sees their three-game winning streak come to a close. And Mike Tomlin, one win away from his 17th consecutive non-losing season as the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers.